Yeah, I, ju I just I just made an in-depth review over a mechanical pencil. A f***ing pencil. Y'all better like this. I hope you guys enjoyed that little movie. It took me a minute to make that. I actually did all the sound design by scratch. I'll keep it short, but before we get into it, please help out the YouTube algorithm. Please help grow this channel uh, by liking this video. And while you're at it, uh, make sure to subscribe uh, for more weekly content. It really does help this channel. Love y'all. So the Pentel Twist Erase 3. This is not a tech review. This is a review over an instrument that has helped me ideate time after time. I discovered this model of pencil my sophomore year of high school. And in fact, I've been using these two specific pencils uh, since my senior year of high school. Now I'm a rising junior at college, so I've used these pencils for a good minute and well, I know them better than most. Now I did an estimate and I calculated that I've clocked in and on the lower end of this estimate, northward of 3,700 hours, almost 4,000. That equates to about 154 days of continuous writing. And by the time I complete my two remaining years of college, uh, I estimated that I'll be clocking in northward of seven, 8,000 hours. Now, form over function that's bull in this case a mechanical pencil should function over and over and over it should not jam while also having an ergonomic form in other words a well-engineered design i expect a good pencil to write well and precisely to mitigate hand and finger fatigue for me to work and for me to not think about this instrument now the most apparent feature that stuck out to me is the material it ranges from a stainless steel tip to a high density plastic no matter how much i squeeze it it doesn't flex it doesn't crack i fidget with my pencil a lot i've dropped this hundreds of times i've thrown it out of frustration I've stepped on it. It's good. I abuse my pencil because I know it's gonna work. Maybe it's temperamental issues, but I don't know. And I can count the amount of times this pencil has jammed on me on one hand, about three times. Yeah. The lead delivery mechanism is near perfected, I'd say. And it's not complicated. You actuate from the rear like most conventional mechanical pencils. It has an outer tube on the rear detachable portion that snugly connects to an inner tube where you load in the lead. And that subsequently leads to a metal tube attached to a spring. And there's a washer there to, again, help guide the lead and keep that metal tube from retracting back into the housing, of course. Now above this, the metal tip, let's talk about that. Now, one of the most interesting features about this phone is that even if the lead breaks, you can still continue writing. The tip is so heavily reinforced that it allows you to do that. Now I view this as optimized pencil. It's very efficient because I'm not wasting those little broken pieces of lead. And for someone like me who places like a lot of pressure while writing, probably most than more people, it looks like I write like I'm angry. This is a must. Now, like I said, I write hard. So I use the 0.9 millimeter variant. It is the best variant. I don't care what you tell me if you're on that 0 0.5, 0 0.7 millimeter freaking mechanic, fuck you. 0.9 for the win. Change my mind, you probably won't. Now moving down, we have the rubber grip. Now, I don't know the exact material, but it's soft. It doesn't get greasy, albeit it is smooth, but it feels nice. Definitely helps in mitigating hand and finger fatigue. And it even has this little riveted portion at the end to provide extra grip and actually find that really helpful. Albeit after hours of continuous use, my hands do begin to cramp up. Uh, my ring finger usually gets swollen around here just from the constant friction and pressure. But that happens with any pencil with or without grip. Now further down, we come across the metal clip. Now you can't mess with it. You can't break it. If you're one of those people who always break these damn things, they're not gonna like this pencil and I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna sleep like a baby with a smile on my face. I like that. It has three cutouts. It's satisfying to rub my thumb over it. It helps me concentrate. I hope that helps someone out. Speaking of satisfying things, the center of gravity. Like a well-forged knife, uh, this pencil has uh, a great center of gravity. It's right in the center. I find that this balance uh, really does help in maneuvering the pencil. It's a lot more fluid it gives you a little bit more confidence. And if you're someone like me who does a lot of spinning and fidgeting, that's great. And if it's not balanced, well, just twist the eraser, redistribute the weight. And speaking of the eraser, it has a twisting mechanism. It's smooth and the eraser erases really well. Well moisturized, it's not dry, it's not flaky. Bonus thing, David, did you say bonus thing? I did say bonus thing. You can buy these erasers in bulk. A 36 count on Amazon costs you $14.60. That comes out to 40 cents per unit cost. Pretty good to me. Now, the last topic, my favorite topic, the design. This pencil was designed and manufactured in Japan and well it's JDM as fuck. it has that general aesthetic and well I fuck with it heavy it looks retro too I like retro stuff if you haven't seen the kind of general aesthetic on my channel this thing's meant for me now if they added gold metal trim to this with a black housing it's over with now speaking of the trim the structured tip it's dense metal it weighs a lot Hear that? You can't step on this and bend it. No, it's not gonna happen. It weighs well, it's cold to the touch. The plastic housing too, again, I mentioned it's high density, it doesn't flex, it feels high quality. The twisting mechanism for the eraser, it's smooth, it's never jammed. Replacing the eraser, it's easy. Hey, what if you rub it down to the nub? Well, check this out. Unscrew the tip, there's actually an opening where you can, again, stick a paper clip or this little thing right here and slide it out. They thought of that. The detachable rear portion is actually angled and the escarpment is chamfered. Now, I didn't think much of this, but when you're actually using it, this little 
little slight angle actually does fit much better right here on, I guess, the inner thumb part of your hand. It fits appropriately in your hand. Now let's talk about the color. Now the 0.9 millimeter variant is limited to only a black and really dark blue. The 0.5 and 0.7 millimeter variants, however, uh, do come in more varieties. I don't mind this muted, pretty stealthy color. I don't want anyone to steal it. Students are snakes. I know I would. <laughs> if you're interested in buying this thing, there's a link down below. I really like this pencil. I, I think this is a great overall pencil. It's extremely robust. It's like the Toyota Hilux of of pencils. It's, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, I, I just I just made an in-depth review over a mechanical pencil. A pencil. Y'all better like this.